Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I forgot to mention last week, did you see? I found my, no, I didn't find it. I found my husband's ring. I got my own um, engagement and wedding rings resized uh, because yeah, they hadn't fit me since like, they, they wouldn't come off my fingers for like one and a half pregnancies. Um, finally got them off and decided I was not going to put them back on until I got them resized. Um, so at first I let my finger heal some, and then I just took it to a jeweler this last week because our anniversary is uh, tomorrow as I'm filming this, so a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look great. I just I haven't had a diamond on my hand in forever because before that period, uh, I was just wearing the band because it was just getting in the way, but I'm, I've decided to wear it for a while. Anyway, today, welcome back to Ganshi Plans. We're doing a setup video for a new planner setup. These always are very exciting, I know. Um, we're back in personal rings. I honestly didn't think I'd be back in this one um, because I don't know, something about the personal size, it just feels too tall and narrow, I guess, and that's why I just am not as big of a fan of it. Um, but it was what felt right. I was in the A6 discs. I wanted to get rid of the discs because they were driving me nuts. I wanted to go back into rings, but I kind of didn't want to downsize my pages. Like I'm not carrying it in a purse anymore. Well, I kind of was. Anyway, I decided I wanted to stay a little bit bigger. So I decided to go with this one, which is technically a little bit narrower than the A6 by a quarter inch. Um, and also is taller though. So uh, let's just jump right in. This planner I was I received for free um, from Fuzzjozma. They sent it to me for sort of my review and take, and I used it from, uh, when was it? After the last baby was born. So like last, did I go straight from this into, I might have gone straight from this into the Traveler's Notebook last fall. Been kind of all over the place, haven't I? Um, but in any case... Here we are, uh, about a year later, the baby just turned one, and we're we're back here. So it's it's great. It's uh, it lays flat, which I like. It's not very expensive as far as planners go, um, and so a lot of times, by the way, you'll notice that um, ring planners are marketed as A6, but they're not. They're personal size, um, and this is one of those. It was marketed as A6 at the time, um, but then they were very kind to uh, actually update their Amazon listing after I posted my review talking about how some A6 planners are called personal, or personal or called A6. Basically in like maybe the Chinese market or the Japanese market, I don't know, some other market in Asia where these are made, personal is called A6, but A6 is a thing. Like A6 exists and is defined by like ISO. So like that kind of drives me nuts. Um, I assume, I assume A sizes are defined by ISO. <laughs> um, anyway, we've got a secretarial pocket in the front with this cute little bookmark. Does it fit here? No, that my daughter made me for Mother's Day at school. And then a nail file because I can never be caught dead without a nail file. Maybe that will go in here. Anyway. Then, eh. The point is that they're there. And I'm using these tabs from Marlene's Plan to Create that I've been using, that I used before. Um, and I love them, um, reminding me that I am enough, that I'm doing enough, that it's okay. And uh, I got all, these were all, I printed these. This is like a digital scrapbook paper that I printed on acetate. I don't have the acetate with me. It's in storage just since the move. And so I'm not able to make new ones. So I'm using the ones I have. This is the 52 weeks um, sort of future log insert that I use to pick a project for each week. Um, and I haven't picked one for next week, but there we go. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was the thing. I got the rings resized and it only took like 24 hours, which is crazy. I really thought that they would have to spend like a week or two working on it, but they got it done real fast. Um, this is an Eisenhower matrix, and I've been using this for my sort of general projecty type brain dump page. Um, so for projects that are kind of, they're, they're on the list. They're not currently on the front burner necessarily, but they're on the list. And so I want to try to prioritize this quadrant first, then this one, then this one, then this one, right? And like some of these things might just not need to get done. Uh, this is my like recurring tasks with the last time done log. 
just keeping track of stuff around the house that needs to get done. I moved all the data over um, and I am um, I got it set up to use for the latter half of the year too. Then this is stuff for the cars. These inserts are gonna be the only ones I think in here that are not from my shop. I really love this insert, which is called, oh gosh, I, well, I guess it's called Goal Planning from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and this is the one that I like in like every size. I never got it for the A6, um, but I, I like having this insert around for smaller projects, um, but I haven't used it for anything yet. But if I have a small project that I feel like I need to just sort of jot down um, a separate project list for, then I will put that here. Um, and then this is the cleaning log, which, oh, did I put stuff here yesterday? No, I didn't. I don't remember to fill it out every other, every single day. And that kind of bothers me, but I do like it. Um, I still want to go through with the highlighter and kind of make it look a little bit better and easier to see because I like to highlight the weekends at least to kind of make it quicker and easier to see what I'm doing. But this just helps me keep track of what I'm doing every day. Um, and what I'm focusing on and like, oh, I haven't focused on this room in a while, that kind of a thing. Um, but I'm finally getting the housework back underneath me after being sick for like two or three weeks. It was crazy. Um, I'm also first trimester, so it's dealing with all of that. Not necessarily feeling great every single day, but I'm doing what I can and I am giving myself grace. Um, here's the monthly setup for May. Um, I am using the dated monthlies, insert 14. These get discounted every quarter. So if you're not interested in them yet, but you might be in the future, you could always wait until July because early July, they will get discounted down to, I think, I forget. I have it noted somewhere, <laughs> but they get discounted every so often because like you're not going to be able to use the first half of the year. And eventually they're like 25 cents to buy old year's worth. So that's nice. Um, yeah, this is, I actually am really liking these little weekly to-do lists. That's the idea is that these are supposed to be a to-do list for that specific week. Some of these have dates on them, others don't, but um, I'm using this as honestly just like a tiny little weekly to-do list. And then when I come over to my weekly, I'm only adding things that I'm ready to actually get done that day on the daily. And then this is projects for now, as you'll see. And you also notice there's not that much color in here yet, and that's kind of fine. I'm kind of de-influencing planning right now um, because I'm literally not even posting stuff, mostly. Um, I'm kind of taking a break and getting over some burnout, so. Um, stuff for June, I have the rest of the year printed out in here um, instead of having a future log. And then after December, Actually, I guess it's farther down. I have the far future section. So this next section is like the future planning kind of stuff. I've got, this is from insert 40, which is a bundle, the pregnancy bundle. I haven't finished filling it out because it does kind of take a minute to fill out the whole thing. But once it's done, um, I'm able to see at a glance um, what week I'll be on a certain date, which is very, very useful. Um, but that's for my, like my due date is early December. Then this is church holidays. Just I have that in here so I can reference it. Then this is the far future log. So this is for anything that's in 2024 and beyond. Then this is birthdays and anniversaries. Um, I didn't have to remake this. I just had to add a couple of things to it because like my niece was born since the last time I was in this size, but I was able to take this insert out of the archive and put it straight back in here. Then, um, See, this next section is weeklies. So I was just using this. I have here, oh, this is some notes about my line of day journal because I didn't have it handy, but I wanted to note down some stuff. Um, and this is a shopping list because I wanted to keep it near me. Um, but then I'm just sort of using this section as like a small to-do list and then things that are like events I wrote just bigger. Um, I was gonna highlight them, but never got around to it, which is fine. I'm just using a single pen. <laughs> And it's not too bad. And then I was just using this as like a project, projects I wanted to work on for the week, things that had, you know, I'd have to do multiple times or would take multiple days to work on. So that's the idea. Um, I have a couple things noted down for next week and not having to like sit down and decorate before I added stuff to the weekly. It's kind of liberating, kind of recommend. 
Um, but then I'll, I'm going to have to print out new weeklies, but I will probably, I might, I don't know if I'm going to stick with this layout. It's fine. This is insert two. This is like the very first layout that I designed for the shop. It's insert two, but it's the very first one I designed. I wanted insert one to be the, the grid because that's like really basic. But this was like the thing that inspired me to want to, to think that I really could have my own printable shop. So there you go. That's a little backstory for you. And then there's just this divider before some dailies. And then I'm using this top divider tab to mark which day is today, today. Um, so I'm just moving this around in this section. Really, I'm trying to focus on like having the tabs actually mean something for me today and not be just a section, but be actual like a bookmark. Um, so this is a daily that I'm using this day that I'm filming. Um, I actually have the place to myself for a change, which is nice because I'm getting a lot of tidying done that generally doesn't happen when the kids are around because they just need me for a lot. And so I was able to really buckle down and focus and it's been it's been a good day. Um, I filmed one video before this and I'm gonna film another one later. Um, but first I'm gonna go over to see my parents for dinner. Oh, this is also from Peanuts Planner Co. I thought this was intriguing and I had some credit, so I purchased this last time I was in this size and only used it once, but it's like a sort of journaling daily. Um, and I liked the idea of this because it's a lot less task focused and more emotions focused. And I thought I should really focus <laughs> or try that out. Um, so I might, I might try that out again. I want it in here as like a reminder to try it out again, but I should print out a few more of them and do it for like a week or something. Um, Maybe once the house feels a bit more under control. <laughs> I'm going to put this here just because I have it next to me and I don't want to lose it. Uh, this next section is the meal planning. I'm devoting an entire section to meal planning. And I keep the front sec the front page of this section is the current one that I, the current we week we're working on or working with. Um, so current we just have the ingredients for, actually we have all of these ingredients. So that's good to know. I do need to do some menu planning because we're not really running out of food food. I just don't feel like making any of this. <laughs> I'm going to need to print out more of these. I only have one left. The next one here. Ah, oh, this is for, I'm actually doing some freelance writing for the diocesan paper. Um, and that's just kind of cool. Um, but this is like the topics that I have been assigned and when they uh, are published and I was going to go through with the highlighter and mark when they're due because this one uh came out on Mother's Day it was supposed to be due the when not the Wednesday before but the Wednesday before that and I woke up the day after it was due and looked at Asana I don't usually look at Asana but because because it was full of all of the stuff that I was not doing because I was burnt out and I needed to go through and get rid of all of those things before they drowned me. Um, but I missed, I missed an important thing, but it was fine. I got it submitted in like, well, in time, less than a day late, she was fine with it and it got submitted. I think it was actually better than I would have expected for getting done on a rush. Um, so I was happy with it, but I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> So that's, this is the projects tab. This is the projects tab and that is a major project. Um, some insert ideas for, um, I want to try to design more inserts because it's been a while since I've released anything new um, and I've got some great ideas. Uh, this was some stuff. Oh, so this, this top tab is supposed to be for my current project. Um, I might try to find some stickers that I have that'll work on that because I have like the today one up here. Um, anyway. Uh, I, this is some stuff that when I was setting up the planner that I wanted to print out, I needed to print out for setting this up. Um, but I think I'm kind of done with that. Anyway, this tab is blank and this tab, which is always a nice problem to have. You have a free section for whenever you need a free section, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to take it out because that would look weird to have the gap, like you're missing a tooth or something. Um, then this last section is just blank pages. So I've got these flags, um, which I was using for things that needed to be set up. There's still one here for that pregnancy calendar. So I, when I have like a pen and some free time and a writing surface, I can work on that. Um, so that's the idea for that. And then um, just blank note paper. I've got these little, this is insert 70, I think. I don't know why it doesn't. Oh, it does say on the back, but I punched through it. I believe it's insert 70. These are mini notes. 
Um, and then these, uh, let's see, I've got mostly let's see, grids, lines, should have some checklists in here somewhere. Uh, some more of these goal planning ones. I would print it out two of these because two come on a page, so I have an extra one. And then another Eisenhower matrix for the next time I need to redo my to-do list. Then uh, this little card pocket has a couple little magnetic bookmarks that I didn't really have a place to put um, or a place to use, but there they are, a couple blank checks. This is my husband's business card and some more of these page flags. And then there's nothing in the zipper pocket, but I do like to have it in the back because it just kind of is one of those, uh, I don't know what you call it, that you, it's like a page puller or something to help close everything properly. Um, and that's the whole setup. I like that the... If you use a Filofax, you know how important it is to have a pen loop that fits your pen. So that's always nice. Um, and yeah, it just it lays flat, which is one of my major criteria because I like to have like my daily or my weekly out on the counter um, or the table and come back to it back and forth and not have to go flipping around and like holding it open. That's a major thing for me. Um, and so this has been working well not really focusing too much on like decorative. There's not a single piece of washi in here right now. Not saying I won't add some if I feel like it, but um, not holding myself to publishing a video every single Thursday. Check out the video from two weeks ago to see my rationale and my schedule and my thinking around all of that. But not holding myself to that schedule has given me more freedom to just sort of use my planner as my planner without feeling like someone's always looking over my shoulder. And that has been a breath of fresh air. So... There you go. But I wanted to show it to you today because I'm liking it. And you know that feeling when you're in a new planner, a new setup, and everything is just kind of working all good, and like you found what you wanted? Planner piece is elusive, but it does exist. That's what I'm here to tell you, and that is my <laughs> conclusion for the day. I hope you have a good one, a good productive day, that you're enjoying yourself and just getting something done that makes you feel good about what you're doing. I don't know. That's that's all I look for in a, in a well-planned day. And as you can see, I've gotten stuff done. I don't know. The, the rainbows the rainbows help. <laughs> the rainbows do help. So I'm probably going to add more highlighter. Um, in any case, I stay subscribed. I don't have a plan as of the time I'm filming for what might come out next week. So I can't promise you there's a video next week. Maybe not, probably not, but there will be videos and they will be hopefully with a happier, more relaxed person and hopefully a little bit better quality also. Um, enjoy your time. Have a good day. See you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.